Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll just give you a quick rundown. So the base speed balance patch. My name is Cyrus Garakinen, also known as CACT, and I work in the esports industry. I do various things in esports, going from, of course, competing, as well as doing community management, graphic design, video editing, as well as event organizing. Esports is just like any other industry, you know, just like the movie industry, just like the sports industry. There's a lot of different aspects that go into it than just the video games and the players. You know, you need to advertise for the event. You need to promote the events in a way that's appealing to the general public as well as to gamers. You know, all these different aspects that you find in other industries, you'd find also in esports. many people don't know is that I was actually born in France uh, and you know my brother and I have always played video games our whole lives you know I started playing video games when I was like two or three years old when I came to the US you know I never really knew what tournaments were I didn't know what competition was I just wanted to play video games and be the best among my friends one day I wanted to get better at Super Smash Brothers Melee specifically and I found out what tournaments were I found out what competition was and I was like this is like really, really awesome and I want to get more into it. The moment I got out of high school and got into college, went to my first tournament, had a blast, and then just kept attending tournaments until today. I also am the head Smash 4 manager at Relapse Gaming, which is a Swiss esports organization. My role as a manager is I basically take care of like all of their upcoming events, uh, where they're traveling to, where they're going to be staying, as well as making sure that the fans of the organization like know about where they're going, and taking care of the graphics. If we're announcing that like one of our players is going to a tournament in Europe, I'm going to be the one making the actual graphic for it and then tweeting about it and such. I'm currently working at Balance Patch, which is an esports gaming cafe in Boston. I currently work there as an IT specialist. It's pretty hard to know what I'm going to be doing or where I'm going to be in five to ten years. You know, the industry changes so much and so many things have happened to me in just within a few weeks. But I see myself as a much better player and working with even bigger organizations and affecting the overall esports industry in even bigger ways. The transition from working a traditional 9-to-5 job to working in esports was definitely a rough transition to make. Not really because I was doubtful of my future in esports, it was more so are my parents going to be okay with it. My dad is like very traditional, no one in my family really knows anything about esports. And when I wanted to get into esports industry, it was definitely wasn't as big as it is today. And it took about, I will say a year before I like I really like transitioned completely to like full-time esports. And there was definitely a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of arguments with my parents, and a lot of doubts of like, oh, what am I doing? Like, is this even the right decision? Am I really gonna enjoy it? What if I just, you know, have like no money within like two months? Eventually, you know, talked to my dad and, you know, settled our different viewpoints. And basically the agreement we came to was like, he gave me a full year, which was all 2018 actually. He said, look, I'm gonna give you this year, you do whatever you want, you grow as much as you can, as much as you want, but starting 2019, you need to go back to your studies, whether it's, you know, going back to Wentworth, whether it's online classes, whatever it is, I just want you to have some sort of degree so that you can have like a backup in case your career in esports fails. And to me, it was, I have a year to prove to my dad and to my mom as well that I can build a career in esports. I really have, honestly, and they fully admit to it today is like, yeah, you, you've proved to us that you can actually build a career and like, but to me, it's just like I still got so much more work to do, you know. There's hundreds and thousands of tournaments around the world. In New England alone, we have at least two or three weeklies every single day across New England. These like smaller local and regional events exist to basically grow the local community. 
you know, they might not be as big as those like major national tournaments that you see on the news, but they're important in the way that they bring in people from a local or regional community in order to have these bigger national tournaments. You need to foster a local community first, make sure you have a group of dedicated and passionate members before you can then grow on to the much bigger tournaments outside your region. I banned Smashville a lot. Okay, so the way I keep myself calm and co uncollected and motivated during tournaments is just not think about the circumstances of the tournament, not think about who I'm playing, you know, what bracket it is, what tournament it is, um, and just kind of just focus only on the match itself and what's going on. When you're ranked as one of the best players in the region, there's a lot more eyes on you, uh, and just every match you play and every result you have matters. So, like, if you're like a mid-level player or low-level player, if you lose to someone that's not as good as you or someone that you know doesn't do as well, it's not too bad because people don't really expect you to do well. But if you if you lose to like an unranked player or something, everybody knows right away and everybody like talks about everything. So you need to always be aware of that. You can't. I'm I'm literally the ma I'm literally the best Mac at down smashing at ledge. That's literally, yeah, 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 I, I literally know this, that move by heart. That's what happened, that's when you know how to edge guard. Good case, man. Let's go, Sly. Let's go. And it was, I was definitely a little mad at first for losing to him, but you know, you're gonna have those unexpected losses eventually, and like those you know, up and coming players, they have to get their breakout win somehow. So you know, it sucks that it had to be me, but you know, I'm more happy for him. I believe I have a pretty good chance of succeeding in esports and I really do believe in my skill set and my potential a lot more than I did, you know, even six months ago. Um, I think I've I've proven myself to a lot of people uh, that I can succeed in the industry, you know, both people that are in industry and both people that aren't in the industry. The reason why I continue to pursue esports is to me it doesn't matter if I spend ten, twenty, fifty, a hundred dollars and I don't make anything back, because I know that everything I'm doing is helping me improve in some way, shape, or form. And I know that everything I'm doing, no matter how long it takes me, no matter how hard it is, no matter how many sleepless nights I have, I know that I'm having fun and that I'm enjoying it and that people like what I'm doing and people are supporting me. As long as there's someone that likes what I do, that says, hey, you can do it, you know, you're doing, you're doing a good job. As long as there's someone that's giving me like motivation and support, that's all I need to keep going. I think my right now my biggest passion is community management. My goal is to help make everyone feel included in the scene and to have as many people enjoy going to tournaments as possible. And to me, what makes esports isn't the organization. It's not the money, it's not the event, it's the people. If we don't have the people, we don't have a tournament. If we don't have a tournament, we don't have money, we don't have esports, etc. etc. So my goal is have as many people as possible in this industry and in this community and make sure that every single person that's in this community is having a great time.